Hello. Mm -hmm. Who are you looking for? I wanted someone um, to give medical help to my wife. Medical help? Oh, well, this is Pentium. Oh, welcome, Pentium. How are you? I'm fine. I wasn't quite sure. I heard several little things before I came in, and I wasn't sure if you were looking for poetry or what. Oh, if you are ready with a poem, then go ahead. You're on record. Um, well, no, I was just wondering what you were looking for. I didn't, wasn't ready for one, but I have many poets, as you know, but um, I didn't research anything before I came. If you're here, just read the poem. Shh. Something uh, suitable for today. What subject would you be looking for? Today we have friendship, reconnection, <clears throat> we have a reunion. Ah, reconnection and reunion and friendship. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. All right, here's one. In the time of color change and the feeling change and the light change of the night, through the day, into the autumn, of your thoughts, there are those that come and go, reaching in and reaching out, and challenging the colors of the time grids. But we know that there are light friends and dark friends, and neutral friends as well. And when we reunite, those colors become more brilliant. For those colors are the colors of the inside, not the out, and the outside forming on the in. Break through into your own self and become friends with yourself, and then you can reach out and make others. There are lights that cannot be shown in the daytime because they would not be seen, but in nighttime the colors are brilliant, and there are lights that cannot be seen at night because they are so dark, but yet in the daytime become brilliant. Here is your answers for all your friends, for all your reconnections, for all your times of need. They connect to you in the color of your being, in the color of your thought, in the color of your emotion and spirit. So now when you come together again, there may be a rainbow within you, and a rainbow without you. Thank you. And I will give you a response, as usual. Приходят январи, нам все дано сполна, и радость, и успех. Одна на всех весна, луна одна на всех. Um, strong flame, unstoppable, burn, burn. Uh, the December, you know, our coldest and darkest months, the December will be replaced by January. Um, we'll get all in full, uh, love in full and darkness in full. And um, all of us get one moon and one spring. Mm, interesting. It would not fall true for some planets. <laughs> but it is an interesting concept. There is December in many planets in the sense that there is coldness and darkness. However, there are some planets that have not very little of that, as you might know. Ones with more than one sun or those that are in a, a drift around uh, binars. But, you know, it can be very exciting to have different seasons. And I would welcome to know what December is. 
in many senses, because I do not really l live in an area where cold weather is very usual. And December is a symbol of death in many ways. Ah. It's in our northern parts of the globe, everything goes into sleep. Uh, ah. The snow is on the ground most of the time and the plants stay stand without leaves and the birds fly to the south. But on the other hand, it's uh, time for holidays which convert this image of death into celebration. We have Christmas and we have decorations, we have artificial lights and candles and joy and promise of miracle and Hanukkah and a few other things. So it's, it's the darkest month but also it's a transcendent transcendence month when you know darkness of the reality transcends into a fairy tale. Ah. And the shortest day of today is the longest. Yes. And today is the longest day of the oh, year. We just the opposite the of that. Yeah. Ah yes. Opposite. Very nice. Um, what can you tell us about uh, the chemical trails from the plains? I just feel like I'm seeing it more and more and I have guesses about what I think they're trying to do, but I don't know, and I don't know if I really know who's doing that. What, what do you mean? The planes that go throughout the sky and the patterns spewing out. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I've heard some people, uh, is it aluminum oxide? Say that is that one of the things, yes. Uh, that What is their... Point. Do, they, do they think they're accomplishing stabilization, and is that true? Are they accomplishing anything positive? No, it's not positive. What it is is that over the years they've worked with many different kinds of airplane fuels. This latest development happens to be less damaging than some of the earlier ones. However, they're all damaging in one way or another. It's just that they've damaged it so much in one way that this new formula damages it in a different way and they are only, they, at first, they were only reading the damage, the kind of damage that it would have originally happened with the first fuels. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know. So then they find these other things and then they go back to the the beginning and have to start all over. But, but you see, they cannot stop airplanes from flying because it would devastate the world economy, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're trying their best. But Grupfekmir has been taking out some of the excess oh. elements. So it's helping some, but but... They cannot do it too obviously. Okay. It's it even though the governments already realize that they are doing it, they cannot be too obvious about their help because the everyday person will be able to notice the difference. I mean, it will just they they feel they don't want it to come to that that the everyday man and woman will understand that they are doing it at this time yet. So, because that might be frightening to them, thinking that they're actually doing something harmful and not good. But it does sort of amaze me that people don't really. Well, I guess people are noticing, but it's never acknowledged, like on our news, or um, it's not spoken yes, of. Yes, it's not acknowledged in a way that brings about horror to your society. No, but it is acknowledged in a very scientific way which brings about thought and promotes some activity, but not much. Mm. Mm. Another question is, are uh, balancing the activity in humancolony.org community and, um, and this effort? Well, the human colony is being born as you speak 
it was in the womb for a while, but now it's going to come out and become an actual entity. Yes. It needs your care and nursing for a little while before you abandon it. Yes, and that is a, so much excitement. I think about that all the time, and it's energy-wise very, very gratifying. Yes, Jeannie, would you? What would you say to him? If, if it's you getting to see it come to fruition, it has to be an amazing. Because would you a year ago have ever thought? Of course, I did. <laughs> to the extent that it is. Now. Oh yeah, I want to take over the world. Yes, <laughs> that's the <a> plan. <laughs> Specifically, uh, I'm raising money to develop DNA sequences. Yes. Machine, oh yes, I didn't think it was anything with a DNA. Machine, no I was... I'm thinking about developing a Reiki machine, but I know for sure no one else in my environment would invest in a Reiki machine. So the closest they can get is DNA sequences activated by light. And then when I have those, a Reiki machine would be the next step, which is done, can be done in parallel, basically. What yeah. is the result, do you believe, of activating DNA with light? So the first immediate result is controlling stem cells from outside. So you can make a drone stem cell and send it and control from outside using light impulses. Like ah, specific that has been laser. done, yes. Mm -hmm. not, on, not on Earth yet. But it can be done. Yes, yes. it can be done easily, yes. So that's what I propose now. It's kind of the closest to mainstream I can propose. And the Reiki machine, I'm feeling like it is an interface between a Reiki healer and a patient, which would amplify the intention. I see. And that is why you write these grants, I understand. Yes. yes. To get this money. But there, there is interest in you now from the state. It's... It's yes, the, it's moderate. Yes, it's moderate. They just want another company in their incubator, basically. But if you get give them a great company, they will be different toward you. Of course. Hmm. This is much to think about. I do not know. I do know the outcome of such research is groundbreaking, as you would say. It would help many people with many, many, many things. Most diseases, most birth defects would be abolished. Can abolished. Would work. Negated. Negated. one moment. This technology, this discovery is already being looked at other places as well on your planet. All right, I cannot continue. Yes, thank you much. Have a nice day. M much appreciation for your help. They are blocking me. That's okay. No big deal.